Hello again. In this presentation, I will be describing the third stanza of Ode to Nightingale. As we uh, already have done the second stanza, as you can see that uh, the poet is referring to the drink, um, the wine. He wants to drink and uh, leave the world unseen and with thee fade away into forest stream. And I refer thee as the nightingale here. So let us see in the third stanza, we have fade far away, dissolve and quite forget. What thou among the leaves hast never known. Now, nightingale, the bird nightingale is a very special bird. He, it never experienced the earthly sorrows. It never experienced the diseases. It never uh, experiences the fever, freight and other elements which actually makes our life unhappy. So, uh, he wants to fade far away and dissolve and wants to forget. The poet wants to forget all the heart's experience in his life which made his life unhappy and he wants to be uh, with the nightingale and uh, the nightingale which never experienced these sorrowful things these unhappy things in its life and the description of those things are like this the weariness the fever and the fright the nightingale never experiences this here where men sit and hear each other groans yes this is this is a fact actually um, as human being we are social animal and we do one thing we communicate with each other and we share our concerns we we share our uh, sorrowness we share we share our happiness all the things we do things here but whenever we sit together and uh, we try to explain how how life is going on normally what happens we actually share our concerns we share our unhappiness or sorrows or diseases whatever it is where men sit and hear each other groan when we groan when we are in pain we groan where palsy sex a few sad last gray hairs here palsy means here old age um, sad last gray hair now this is a very nice expression before i uh, describe these things let us uh, go to the let us check the annotations first so what we got here Fade far away, dissolve. Kids would retire in the forest. He wants to retire in the forest. What thou among the leaves uh, means the pains and sufferings is unknown to the bird. Yes, the earthly pain and suffering, it is quite unknown to the bird. Fret means be anxious. Here the word fret is used in the third line, the last word of the third line. Here where men sit and hear each other groan. In this world, a man in sorrow turns to others for comfort. But instead, what we get? Of comfort hears only their sad complaints. Yes, that, that's what I explained. Here, Nana is free from the clutches of sorrow. Palsy means extreme weakness that afflicts mankind in old age. You have seen old people, no? so they are weak. They, they, they are having nervous problem also. Their, their hands are shaking all the time. So, shakes means waving of hair. Where palsy shakes last gray hairs, here means old men with few gray hairs on their heads, hobble along, trembling, and tottering. So, what you got here in this? Where palsy takes a few sad last gray hair. I told you there is a nice expression over there is a nice rhetoric actually. This is known as transferred epithet. That uh, mm, that the last sad last gray hair. Now, the uh, the way it has been presented that the gray hairs are sad. No, the gray hairs are not sad. Actually, the person is sad. This is a case of transferred epithet. With, where youth grows pale and spectre thin and dies. Now, youth grows pale means normally what happens? Youth lose their beautiful glow. They lose their uh, their youth. Th that is the point over here. Where youth grows pale, they lose their beauty and spectre thin and dies. Actually, this is a very personal reference. He is using over here. His, his brother died out of tuberculosis. So, here, what happens uh, if somebody is suffering uh, with this disease? Uh, normally, what happens? He, lose its, its, his appetite, uh, weight loss is there and uh, becomes extremely weak. So that has been referred here. Where youth grows pale, means he's referring to his brother actually and spectre thin and dies and then they eventually lose their life. Eventually, kids also died out of tuberculosis. Where but to think is to be full of sorrow and lead a night despair. Yes, whenever we sit somewhere and we, we think about something, all the unhappiness, all the unfortunate event, all the frustrating event we remember. And what happens? Those things uh, makes our eyes heavy. That has been described in this lead in night despair. Lead, lead in night despair means the frustration of our life. 
the frustrations of our life makes our eyes heavy and it becomes you know we close it so what you got here but to think okay oh, let's go back to that annotation specter thin means thin as ghosts but to think is to be full of sorrow means here yeah? the world is full of miseries and no man can spend a single moment without sorrow and despair and leaden eyed despair means eyes heavy with despair or eyes having the color of lead uh, that is dull gray eyes which are signs of despair now you know that uh, the previous stanza was uh, very colorful but this one is um, not that you know the color vibrancy is not there They're not very encouraging rather it's full of sorrowness and full of uh, you know problems we are we can we can sense that so <clears throat> uh, where but to think is to be full of sorrow if you sit somewhere you will eventually um, engulf your mind or your mind will be attached with the sorrowness or unhappiness whatever you have experienced in your life and lead in night days when our frustration it uh, it makes our eyes heavy where beauty cannot keep a lustrous eyes or new love pine at them beyond tomorrow this one is also again referring to the personal uh, problem or personal experience of the of kids in his in his own life his uh, love life was unsuccessful it has been referred here where beauty cannot keep a lustrous eyes beauty means here beautiful woman lustrous eyes means eye beaming with the flow of health and youth pine at them means pine for the lover yes our our life is like a continuous search of love uh, our life cannot be stopped somewhere in at a certain time obviously it will stop but uh, we spend our life in search of love where beauty cannot keep a lustrous eyes beautiful women they cannot maintain their beauty eventually they lose their beauty even love even the relationship they are not static at some point at some given point those relationships are over or destroyed and we look forward beyond tomorrow we look forward we we try to find another relation or another another uh, we find we try to find love in another person that's all in the third stanza uh, please do share and subscribe and please uh, comment uh, if you have any thank you